I hated it my first year, just because like every time I was going with anybody, like especially a black belt, they would you they would they would take advantage of holding on to the grips. Oh, so and, annoying. Yeah, and I just couldn't like I would just I would go for a perfect double leg, grab them, take them down, and then they would just grab something like anything like my sleeve, and I just couldn't get my arm free, or I couldn't or I couldn't just like keep progressing until I found my until I found my submission. It was it was always like oh I had to get his toe out of my lapel or I had to get his <laughs> fingers out of my out of my sleeve and they'll they'll grab your sleeve and then they roll their fingers in there and it's like it's they got little monkey grips man and and the flexibility that you have in jiu-jitsu is just nothing nothing compared like wrestling doesn't compare at all like right. we can't do with our legs like the some of the things that guys in jiu-jitsu can do like their their flexibility is incredible and when I was going for like I mean, like just having my regular guard was hard in the beginning because I, I I couldn't lock my legs around people. I was like, <laughs> I needed some more. I had tight hip flexors at the time, so you know, if I had a guy that was that was kind of like heavyweight or about I don't know about one two hundred pounds, and he had a wide waist, I couldn't lock my legs around him. So I had to like play butterfly guard the whole yeah. time. Yeah, dude, that's funny you say that because you know, let let locking a you know locking guard is hard, but like let alone some guys who are throwing legs across for triangles, it's like how do they do that without their legs cramping up at first? It's such a weird position to put your legs in. It really is. But you, you just build up the, uh, that conditioning. It's just like with boxing. When you're throwing your first couple punches, after those first 10 punches, your sh- shoulders are screaming. And it's the same thing with, with jiu-jitsu. You know, those, some of those guys would sit there and they will be upside down on their back, like for 10 minutes. And that's, that's the whole road. That's their whole technique and strategy. They live there, bro. It's like, I'm like, yo, I'm so tired. Just, just throw my legs up twice. I'll try to get you to the triangle. Do you still roll at all? Um, yeah, I still roll. Gi or no gi? Uh, no gi for right now. I haven't put the gi back on for a while. That, That gi gets hot. Dude, it does. It's such a, it's like you either just got to accept it and use it as a tool. And you know, some of the lapel chokes are pretty sweet, but at the beginning, it, you're just thinking in your head, you're like, man, if you couldn't hold on to my gi, I would be destroying you right now. You're just stalling with this gi. Mm-hmm. But exactly. then that just gets in your head and you're getting so frustrated. But uh, yeah, it's, I, I, you know, that video of you rolling at one of the IBJF Pan Ams or something always sticks in my head because I'm like, why would he not just do no gi if he's going to be fighting anyway? Like, why did you go gi? Uh, well, they told me that they, because they said if you do gi, you'll learn all the proper holds, you'll learn how to, you'll, you'll learn jujitsu. And then you, it'll be that much easier to kind of tie your wrestling and everything together. So I, I wanted to do everything like down to his like four, like his core fundamentals. So I, I, I would like, I did everything in sections. Like I, I started, I tried to learn boxing by itself, like mm-hmm. just pure, pure boxing with pure boxers. And then I would do jujitsu with just pure jujitsu guys. And I would do the gi and all that. And most of the wrestlers hated gi, hated it. Yeah. But I was like, you know what, if I'm going to get better at it, I'm just going to do this with the gi. Because I know that if I can do this with the gi and get better and graduate with the gi, then I'll do better with the, with the no gi. Yeah. So I was trying to get my belts through the gi. So you were like taking it serious, like just going through the steps and being a true jujitsu player, essentially. Yeah. Wow. That's exciting, man. Well, I just love that, that you're in the state of Illinois. We're going to be seeing you around high school tournaments, college tournaments, and obviously all the Illinois duels um can't wait to get down there and meet you in person man ed ruth thank you for your time my friend